This recording looks at some of the more commonly encountered decision mechanisms and highlights some areas that people often overlook. We'll use the business scenario of applying for a credit card as follows. An application for a credit card was received and entered into the system. It ran through three automated checks in parallel and is now with a business user to review the application and make a decision on whether a card can be issued. If the decision is that the application is OK, then the system will issue one of three types of card. A gold card if the applicant has a total debit and savings balance greater than 100,000. A high risk card if the credit ratings returned a decision of poor. Or a standard card otherwise. If the decision was that the application was not OK, then an automated rejection letter is sent instead. Regardless of which decision is made, once the resultant action has taken place, a quality assurance task is generated for the QA group to review the process. This scenario covers several basic process patterns, which we'll highlight as we build the model. We start with a model that shows the process waiting for the review application decision and eventually going to a quality assurance check. In between these two user tasks, we want to issue a card or a rejection letter. First, let's create the outcome actions. One will be to issue a gold card. Another will be to issue a high risk card. One will be to issue a standard card. And the final one will be to send a rejection letter automatically. Now we need to link these in, but first we need to add a decision point. The parallel split we can see earlier in the process enables all the output paths. We don't want that here, we need to choose just one of the paths. To do this, we add a gateway of type Exclusive Database Merge, also known as an XOR gateway. Note the word Exclusive. Only one output path will be chosen. We only want one card to be issued, or a rejection, and that's delivered by this pattern known as Exclusive Choice. If we look at the gateway, we can see that there's no conditionalization on the gateway. We have to add the conditions onto the outgoing paths. First, we'll create the condition on the gold card path. This is checking that the card was approved and also that the result of the automated account check showed that this applicant has more than 100,000 in their savings or debit account. The next condition will be on the high risk path. This checks that the card was approved and that the automated credit rating check showed the applicant had a poor credit history. And finally, we add the condition on the standard card path. This just checks that the card was approved. We also have to define a default path, and in this case it will be the rejection letter path. The default path is indicated by the backslash on the line, and this is only processed if no other path is processed. It has no condition defined. Officially, the BPMN and Workflow Patterns definitions say that the default path is optional. However, it's generally bad practice to have no default path, and so Business Studio will flag an error on the gateway if there's no default path defined. The exclusivity is imposed automatically by the runtime engine. It only activates the first condition which evaluates to true, then ignores any remaining conditions. We can control the sequence of evaluation by dragging the path priority numbers around. The conditions are evaluated starting with path number one and finishing as soon as a path evaluates to true. In our scenario, we want to check the gold card path first, then the high risk path, then the standard card path. 
notice that more than one of these might evaluate to true as the tests overlap. The BPM engine will stop when the first one evaluates to true, so getting the sequence of evaluation correct is important. The final step in the build is to bring these paths back together for the quality assurance task. We can't use the synchronization that we used earlier. That would wait for every path to complete, even though only one of them is being processed. We add another XOR gateway to deliver the simple merge pattern, and we'll link the paths to the gateway. Looking at the paths, we can see that they're all defined as uncontrolled. There's no conditions defined. This is not a synchronization. That's a different pattern. This simple merge pattern is generally used where an earlier exclusive choice has sent the process down just one of several different paths, and then those paths need to proceed along a common path. In this example, we want to end up at the quality assurance task regardless of which of the four paths we chose. The exclusive choice gateway ensures that only one of the parallel paths can be activated. If more than one were activated earlier, say via a parallel split, then this simple merge would result in multiple onward threads running, one for each incoming active path. In that case, we could easily end up with two or three copies of the quality assurance check. That's sometimes required, but it's a separate pattern called multi-merge. This model has shown us two patterns, exclusive choice and simple merge. Please take a moment to review this summary. Press pause if you need more time. The final segment of this video follows, and it displays written descriptions of use case scenarios for the workflow control pattern or patterns just described.